Okay, let's go. Let's look at some hair pulls now. So here, the guy grabs the hair like this. Now, when they grab the hair, they'll often come through here, move the fingers to that position. This could be try and control, or it could be to try and take down and strike. It even could be kind of street technique like this. So when somebody grabs the hair here, the first thing you want to do like this is put the left hand up there. Now put the left hand up, now strike down a bit stronger, Trita. Hit the guy's knuckles that way and have the elbow like so. So there, that does give some defense of the face. Okay, so he's gone there. Strike left, put down a bit further. Okay, now turn this way so the camera can see. At this stage, the right hand is going to go to my wrist like so. Loop the hand across, loop over, step, step, step. That's good, that's good. And there, she's got the control. Now pull my hand away. Beautiful. Elbow in tight to the armpit there. Now you see the leverage she has here, I can't pull that away particularly successfully. Move a little bit closer to me, and I start to go, move your hips nearer to mine. Now, move my fingers towards my ear, tap. Okay, let's do that one more time, a little bit quicker. So grab there, strike, right hand on my wrist. Loop across, beautiful. Now that's actually quite uncomfortable. She's pulled the hand away, and then she moves the fingers towards my ear, and I will feel that pretty badly. If I grab with the right hand, the right hand goes there because now she's got some defense of the face. Left hand to the wrist, loop across, pull the hand away, and then move A. Okay, that was a good one. Then move the fingers towards the ear, and the gentleman will feel that one quite successfully. Let's look at a few detail points here. Grab. Make sure you hit down there. Hit down a bit harder, a bit striker. There, I felt that in the fingers. That was quite a nasty blow. Left hand now. Now do this quickly and aggressively and pull my hand away. Beautiful. That gets my balance. When you do it quickly like so, my balance goes to fingers to my ear and tap. Note there the position of the hands. You see the heel of a hand there pushing against my knuckle line. So when she pushes in that way, that does cause a lot of pressure on my wrist. Push. Right. Right, let's do now the hair pull from the rear, like so. I'll grab the ponytail. Never pull against it. If she tries to move that way away from the pull, she'll just cause herself some pain and she'll lose some hair. So you go with the flow. Here she drops. She drops her head underneath my, my hand. So that makes it difficult for me to hold on. And now she's in position like this. She's covered her head here pretty well. Now, hands against the top of my legs. This position now, all right, lock the arms out. Then now here, I can't get a decent knee in, okay, because she has some control on my legs. Then she just charges into me. Bang, Steve in like this. Bang, here, I'm up against the wall, or in this case, the cage. Now she puts her head aggressively against mine. Now I look up a little bit, Teresa, and push me in there. Push, push, push. That's my position now compromised. A couple of knees in the groin. Go, go, go. Aggressively attack the groin, okay? That's one technique. Whenever. Okay, one more option here. Leo's grabbed the hair, he pulls, he pulls. She goes underneath like this, and now she gets control, and she drops him. Nice one. So one more time, one more time, guys. We'll finish off in a minute. Okay. So he grabs the hair. He pulls, pulls backwards. She goes with the pull, she covers. She gets positioned like this. Now here, her head looks up a little bit stronger. She grabs the back of his knees, and she pushes with the head, pulls this way. To finish off here, she steps in, and she drops the shin onto the guy's nuts. That's the equalizing point. Despite the weight difference, and it is significant, her body weight and his nuts will finish.